If you've been using the Expensify app, then you've probably noticed that an update has rolled out. So we thought it would be useful to do a video giving you kind of the updated versions of the videos we had done before, covering it with the new interface, of course. And essentially what they've done is they've made it, I think, even easier to access anything you need to right from the sort of home screen here. So right from here, anything I want to add, I can just hit the plus sign. And notice right there, I can add distance, I can add smart scans, I can add expenses, and I can add time. So going in the order that we went in on the original uh, course lessons on the mobile app, uh, let's choose smart scan to start with. And I have the option to either take a photo or choose from my gallery. So let's choose take a photo. And as you can see, this, this all works the same, unless you have a new phone and a new camera. And even then, it probably still kind of works the same. So I took my picture, and I can tap up there where it says OK if I like it. If I want to get it better in better focus, I can do retry. Let's get. Let's see if I can get a better one. It looked crisp and clear on my screen. For some reason, the photo itself didn't come out beautiful. There we go. I think that's a little better. And we click OK. And then once I click OK, I can, as before, I can comment, I can report, and I can add more details. So I can choose my category, my classes, I can choose whether it's billable. And now the billable is a, is a little slider, which is kind of cool, instead of a checkbox. Right? Other than that, all the same stuff applies. It's just a nicer interface, it's a little easier to work with. And once I'm done, I can certainly hit save. And Expensify is going to start smart scanning it. You can see from here that it's unreported and it's smart scanning. So as you may recall from the original videos, this is going to take up to 15 minutes to complete. And when it is completed, uh, they will it will populate with most of the sort of high-level important data, the name uh, that's on the receipt, the date of the expense, the amount, and so on and so forth. And of course, in case it got it wrong somehow, you can still go in there later and edit the information and correct it if you need to. But it's amazingly accurate, actually, from what I've seen using this. Now... That is smart scan. The, the process itself isn't really different. It's just the interface that we're using in the app uh, looks a little different. It's a little updated. And it looks really nice. If you ask me, I think it's gorgeous, actually. So that covers smart scan. The next video, we're going to look at adding an expense.